All right, so as you can see, I went to the Nike factory store. They had extra 30% off of the entire store for friends and family the other week. And I went shopping around, saw a couple things in store that I liked, but I ended up walking out with a couple small items right here. So let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. If you guys wanna shop on Nike's clearance site online at least, you can go ahead and do that again in the description. But this video, I just wanted to show you the pickups that I ended up getting. But first, before I get into the pickups, I wanted to show you guys just what I saw in the store because there was quite a few uh, fun things that I explored. So I'm just gonna go through and just show you guys a bunch of the stuff right here.
perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, so now that you guys are back, this is the pickup that I ended up getting. And I wanted to buy these only because the price point was so good. Like this is actually a colorway that I didn't even really realize that they released. It was almost like they released a hidden colorway that I didn't know about in this Haven Clock collaboration. Um, I have the white pair. It's like a, an off-white colorway. It's really dope. And it's actually one that I wanted to do a custom on. I just never did it yet. But this Volt and Gray colorway was so clean in store. The Volt color definitely pops with the gray. And for the price, that was the reason why I got these though. So the final price on these actually ended up being $56. The retail being $200 and $56 on sale was a good enough price for me where I was like, yeah, I uh, I wanted to get these ones. They are a little bit snug though. I did get them in a size 9 because it was the only size they had. They didn't have my... 9.5, but I can always take the insoles out and it works out uh, just the same for myself at least. But uh, kind of a sleeper Air Max 97, 98 uh, frame on this one and just one of those shoes that I think a lot of people don't really love. It has this weird little uh, rubberized section on the back here and it says Air Max in like almost like an Atmos style print back here. And then you have that Air Max 97-ish uh, midsole. You have the Volt in the guts and then you have white and gum sole on the outsole. There's actually a little Nike swoosh right here as well that's frosted on there, nice little touch. Then you have the little ribbon up and down uh, for the cage area right here that the laces uh, combine on there and little dots uh, for the ventilation. Mesh on the underlay and then mesh down here with the neon. And there's kind of an interesting little touch but there's a pull tab up the middle of the shoe and then it actually combines the laces uh, like so. This is actually 3M reflective here and up through the tongue actually and then right here as well on the silver parts. Um, this is not 3M, but still nice. And then you have um, some mesh on the back and um, kind of a firm tongue just because of that 3M. And then a little bit of heel reinforcement back here. Overall look of the shoe though is just kind of interesting. Not probably one that most people would think I gotta have that shoe, but um, leave a comment, let me know. What do you guys think on feet? Do you think these look better on feet than they do in the images and the video that you guys see? I mean, I think that's kind of like the thing that makes Sneakers fun is the image is in store and on the clearance racks you might not really think that it looks cool And then when you try them on feet it can actually change the dynamic a little bit and like just really shift your opinion on the shoe When I did that I was like man I like the volt hits it looked good with denim I think and it was all around like for $56 or whatever I was like yeah that's way better than 200 I even bought a pair at like 40% off at the Nike employee store so $56 I was like yes let's get a second pair so that's uh, the pair that I ended up getting right there for the price, I think it was worth it and a win for myself. But I also got something else that's kind of weird and I figured I'd show you guys. Um, got a couple different women's vests and they're these like Nike like running vests, the Aero Layer running vest it says right here. The retail on these are $100 and then I found one in the store that actually was labeled as $14.97. But then I looked on the other ones here and they're $45.97. So, I feel like they had an error on the price on this one. This one was only $10 uh, for a $100 vest, and obviously it's not for me, but but obviously it's not for me. It's like a pink vest, and it's a women's vest, but I got one for my wife. I got one for the homie Lena. I got one for my friend's wife who runs, who I always get, just get random running stuff for just because she likes um, Nike running gear. She used to work over there. and uh, But kind of an interesting looking one. Like it's a weird looking vest. It has this weird layer down here. And... Um, quilted look but dude for ten dollars i was like man that's kind of a good come up so i bought a handful of them and i figured um good gifts for just random like hey here's a gift nice to see you again sort of thing uh so yeah that was the other thing that i got for the price again ten dollars you can't really beat that and i was surprised they actually honored the price point right there is 1047 and then you could see the bottom price tag right there 97.94 so that's what i got for the nike factory store for under a hundred dollars Total retail is 
three, four, five, six hundred dollars I got for less than a hundred. So I think it was a good come up, and the price points were just uh, just right for me to be able to buy. Uh, and that's uh, that's the video. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I, I picked up. Uh, from the clearance and if you guys like the video drop a like on the video But I'll leave you guys with a question. Did you guys go to the Nike outlets at all for the friends and family drop? Did you guys cop anything or not if you guys saw the pictures one of the dudes came up pretty big He had like six bags of stuff, but he ended up getting some fear of God um, Moccasins nothing fancy, but the fear of God mocks as well as those Mars Air Maxes Which I really wanted but they only had one pair and it wasn't my size but, uh, but man, I didn't really have too many come ups. We always go on the first day, usually my buddy Bobby and myself, since it is during the work days, um, instead of going the weekend, instead of going the weekend, cause the weekend is crazy. But that's all we have for the video. Kids are out of the bath. That means it's time for me to go. Uh, have a good rest of the day. We'll see you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace guys.